Global electrical energy consumption is rising steadily and proper system sizing and use are becoming more and more important. The increase in active power is always accompanied by a corresponding increase in reactive power. This generates a current voltage phase shift and the power factor is consequently less than 1. This in turn causes generation system inefficiencies because it produces high power losses, high voltage drops, system oversizing. These effects can be reduced by using capacitor banks. However, capacitive load switching carries some inherent technical difficulties. In addition to over voltage, most problems involve network connection operations, where high inrush currents and frequencies drastically reduce the life of capacitors and all network devices. The risk of re-strike and pre-strike, an unpredictable but ever-present risk, can lead to serious damage and overall system malfunctions. Today, the most common approach tends to mitigate the effects of capacitor bank switching by adding surge arresters, in-rush reactors and harmonics filters. Instead, with a radical change in approach, ABB now offers an effective innovative response to managing capacitive loads and saturating network capacity. The new DS1 load break switch for capacitor banks. The new switching concept exploits the coupling of two very simple elements. Semiconductors, the power diodes that allow current to be retained for a few milliseconds, and alternating current network synchronism that makes it possible to precisely predict when the current will pass zero. This makes it possible to completely eliminate transients and any possible restrike or pre-strike. This technical solution uses two mechanical contacts, moving and fixed contacts, a semiconductor set in parallel, and a control system constantly engaged to the network voltage. During the closing phase, the moving contact connects the semiconductor, which naturally activates the circuit when current can pass through. A quarter cycle later, the main contact is closed completely, short-circuiting the semiconductor, thereby allowing full dissipation-free current conduction. The capacitor bank is now connected to the network. During the opening phase, the control system opens the main contact and the current can flow through the semiconductor. Half a cycle later, the moving contact completely disconnects the semiconductor and therefore the entire circuit. The capacitor bank is now disconnected from the network. The DS1 switch has been tested at up to 17.5 kilovolts, 630 amps, 50,000 mechanical switching operations and 10,000 electrical switching operations at full capacitive load. It can withstand a short circuit current of up to 20 kiloamps for half a second thus enabling the upstream protection device to isolate the fault and safeguard the power correction system. It is integrated with the system diagnostics, constantly monitoring DS1 status. This reduces the possibility of unsuccessful operations and consequently of unpredicted plant and network out of service. The innovation provided by the DS1 involves not only its high transient, re-strike and pre-strike free switching capacity, it also provides major advantages for the connected equipment. In fact, eliminating transients makes the installation of dedicated components unnecessary and this reduces costs, installation time and space requirements, as well as significantly reducing malfunctions. The DS1 is also mechanically and dimensionally interchangeable with the VD4 and HD4 and this means that there is no need to redesign and resize the entire electrical panel. The DS1 has been designed primarily for reactive power consumption for industrial plants and distribution network stabilization. Several DS1 units can be used back to back in a single panel or in several panels with an upstream protection unit depending on the type of compensation required. 
The DS1 guarantees high switching frequency in complete safety in order to precisely track the reactive power to be compensated, thereby optimizing network efficiency. These oscillograms, originating from a substation owned by a well-known American utility company, show the voltage and current of the three phases downstream of the DS1. This connection of the capacitor bank does not result in any overvoltage. The current is cut off precisely when it reaches zero. Connection of the capacitor bank does not present any significant inrush currents, and harmonic distortion disappears in one cycle. In conclusion, DS1 transient restrike prestrike free switching enhances compensation system reliability and efficiency thanks to integrated system diagnostics, reduction of network disturbances and related mitigation equipment, lower maintenance and substitution rate of all devices, high power factor and consequently optimization of system capacity. DS1 the new frontier for synchronized circuit operation.